Hey guys, and welcome to this new home that I'm going to be staying in for my clinical rotation. This is a home that is provided to students, so I'm super grateful to have this option available to me for housing while I am completing a clinical rotation for a couple of weeks. So this is just the night before my first day on the rotation. The house is super cute, cozy, and quaint. There's just a couple bedrooms, a living room, a nice cute fireplace, a kitchen, dining room, and study area and a bathroom. It's just what I need to get through this rotation and to come home after a long day of work and just have a nice quiet place to study and eat dinner. This is how the kitchen is laid out. There's plenty of space to unload all of my Tupperware containers and meal prep. I meal prepped the day before coming here so I had all of my food ready for the week so I didn't have to worry about cooking that much. And here I am just sitting down and planning out my schedule for the week and my first day on the job tomorrow. After I had planned what I can expect for the next day and the times I need to be in work, etc., I wanted to do some studying. I did about two hours of studying for a big boards exam I have coming up after I graduate in a few months. I'm just starting now early, trying to prepare for that big exam so I can get my certification. And then after that, I actually studied a little bit for the specific specialty that I am on during this rotation. I'm on my surgery rotation, so I'm super excited about that. There's a lot of complex patient encounters involved with this specialty, so I just wanted to make sure I was well prepared. The next day, I just decided to wake up super early to prepare for coming into work. I brushed my teeth and did my skincare, starting off with lightly scrubbing my face with some African shea butter black soap. This is a moisturizing skin cleanser. And then I'm also going to be applying some clindamycin antibiotic lotion to my face. And that is about it. I actually kept my skincare very light this morning. I didn't apply any makeup. I just wanted to come into work with a nice, clean and clear face. I'm also going to be combing out my hair and just putting it into a neat professional bun and that is what I chose to wear to work. I'm then going to be changing into my medical scrubs for the day and that is about it for my personal care. I'm then going to be making my morning smoothie. So I'm just adding water to this blender cup here. I'm then adding half an avocado, some spinach, some chocolate, pea, and quinoa protein powder, and some frozen blueberries. And that is the smoothie that I have almost 99% of the time for breakfast. It is just a quick, healthy, nutrient-rich smoothie that I can take with me on the go. After I get dressed, I'm just packing up my backpack, I'm putting my laptop in, my agenda, my pencil case with all of my pens and highlighters, my computer mouse, and my notebook of course. This is what I'm going to take with me to work and it has everything I need to accomplish things throughout the day. I'm then just going to pack my lunch for the day. I'm just packing up some brown rice, some zucchini and yellow squash, and some home-cooked sautéed chicken with some seasoning. This is such a fueling, balanced meal that I like to bring with me. And then I'm also going to bring a few snacks. I'm going to slice up this Fuji apple, and I'm going to pair this with a few tablespoons of peanut butter. This is one of my go-to snacks that I like to take with me, especially when I'm feeling tired throughout the day. 
This just gives me a boost of carbs that makes me feel energized. And the protein in the peanut butter just helps me feel a little bit more filled up when I'm needing a snack. I'm also going to bring a handful of some unsalted peanuts and some kiwi for some vitamin C. And these are just some of my go-to healthy snacks that I like to bring with me to work. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog and watching me get ready for the day. I hope everyone is doing well. I will see you soon in the next video.